Hey, it's November 30th, 2018. This is Andrew in Omaha, Nebraska. And this is my new Cobra Class 14 leather splitter from the Leather Machine Company out of Ontario, California. Now, I know I made a video earlier in the month in regards to the price of sewing machines in the United States and how they're projected to go up substantially come January 1st, 2019 due to the uh, tariffs that are coming down the pipe. Um, I spoke to a leather supplying company, I'm not gonna say who they are, but they told me over the phone that as soon as all their machines that they currently had were sold, any machine after that expect to pay 25% more uh, than what they're currently listed at. Anyway, uh, the machine weighs in right at oh, 292 pounds. They do a really good job of putting it on the pallet, strapping it down like always. So I'm really excited about this machine. For those of you who don't know what a leather splitter is, it's basically does what a planer does for woodwork. That's what a leather splitter does for leather work. Anybody who works in leather has one of these in their shop. This is my scrap bin. You can see there's just tons and tons of pieces in here and for example this piece right here is probably I don't know 12 to 14 ounces it's a very thick very heavy piece of Herman Oak uh, drum dried leather this is way too thick for anything that I could possibly ever use this for however now that I have the leather splitter I'm going to be able to run that piece through that machine. It's going to cut it down evenly all the way across to a manageable weight that I could make. You know, you could probably make one, if not two, uh, nice wallets out of that piece right there. So that's what the leather splitter does. It opens a door to utilizing as much of your scrap as you possibly can. And if you're into utilizing as much, many parts of the animal hide as possible, then something like this is very important. Now, I was seriously considering buying the Cowboy uh, 8020 splitter, and I love Cobra and the Leather Machine Company. I love their products, and I really wanted to stick with it, um, but uh, the cutting blade on the Cowboy splitter is 20 inches and the blade on this machine is 14 inches. Maker's Leather Supply did a Cobra introduction video on their uh, uh, leather machine products on their Facebook page a couple months ago and one of the I believe one of the people from Leather Machine Company was commenting as Aaron was doing uh, the video and they, he said that the machine will split uh, full 14 inches of complete width of the blade and I know that Aaron ran a very wide piece through the machine and it cut it down just fine. The other part of the decision making process of why I went with the Cobra machine over the Cowboy machine is the room I have to work with here in my garage. As you can see my Cobra Class 20 has a work table. I believe it's about two feet deep and about three and a half to four inches wide and the cowboy splitter comes on a table similar in size except I don't think it has wheels on the bottom of it and having the mobility and be able to move these machines around is very important I mean, I'm sure I could probably put some swivel wheels on that but uh, I was thinking that I would end up having to put the splitter where the class 20 is and then just wheel the class 20 over here up against the workbench and move it around. I really didn't want to do that. The thing with this class 14 is it has the same type of pedestal as my class 3 and I'm going to be able to push it right up there against the workbench when I'm not using it. I'll still be able to uh, put my car in the garage here and uh, that table right back there is a folding table. I can just fold that up and put it back behind the workbench. But uh, the size uh, issue uh, with the machine and the limited space I have to work with here in the garage is also a determining factor of why I went with the Class 14. Also, 
I began looking around online trying to find the best price for either the cowboy machine or the uh, leather machine company machine and while shopping around I ended up stumbling across a website it was called American Leather Works and it's AmericanLeatherWorks.com uh, and it's out of I believe Lansing Kansas anyway they are a leather machine uh, company distributor and you can place orders through their website for these machines and I found the best price on this machine out of anybody I ended up speaking to a man I believe his name was Eric over the phone and uh, told me exactly what the price was going to be, what the shipping was going to be, and it was going to beat everybody else by uh, an am enough of an amount to cause me to order the machine right away. So if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on any of these Cobra machines, I highly recommend using the American Leather Works out of uh, Lansing, Kansas. Uh, just talk to Eric. Um, you can easily find their website uh, if you type that into Google and he will get you set up. I also looked at some other leather splitters besides the cowboy um, before I forget. There's one made by Weaver Leather. It's a hand cranked machine and it's got an eight inch blade in it. And it's almost $3,000 and I was like, no way, I'm not going to buy a uh, hand cranked machine that has a smaller cutting surface for more money than uh, what the leather machine company and cowboy are selling their machines at. I'm going to be putting together a unboxing and assembly video similar to the one I made for the Cobra Class 3. I'll make it for this Cobra Class 14 and then we'll also do some example splits with it uh, once that machine is together so you can get a real world idea of what this machine is capable of, what it's not capable of, and if this would be the right machine for you. I'm actually looking forward to putting something like that together because there are a couple videos out there made for this machine but um, they don't really cover everything uh, in the detail that um, and the, it doesn't cover the information that I was looking for when I was looking for a splitter. Every time uh, somebody would be running example pieces through they either running a really thin strap through the machine or you know, or a piece of leather that's eight inches or less through it. And I want to know if I can run a panel big enough to say make a pocket on like say uh, a bag like that. You know, is it capable of cutting that entire surface area down to a workable piece? So that's something we're going to find out. So uh, look forward to that. Thanks for watching. This is Andrew in Omaha, Nebraska. Have a nice day.